patient nicknamed COVID toes, and some doctors think it could be the sign of an asymptomatic child patient. Back with us now is Dr. Amy Powler on the phone. Doctor, so glad you're back with us. Can you explain what this is all about? Yes, we're seeing large numbers, particularly of teenagers and young adults who are having toes that may be one toe, sometimes all the toes, often on the top of the toes, sometimes with lesions on the bottom of the toes that can be bright red and can evolve into a purplish color, sometimes itchy, oftentimes painful. And these are individuals who are often without any other signs of viral infection, sometimes with some upper respiratory uh, infection, sometimes just with fatigue. Um, and we just don't know what's going on, but we're seeing this in unprecedented numbers during a COVID pandemic. So we have to think that there might be a relationship. So you're trying to figure out if there's a, uh, an exact nexus to all of this, but from what we understand, what you tell us, there's a lack of testing in order for you to actually prove this point or this condition. That's right. I mean, this is a time when we really need to save resources, and we can't be sending people who don't have the classic signs of the COVID-19 infection for that kind of testing for the virus. There have been some children who've tested positive. There have been some children who've tested negative. But most who have this have not had any testing at all, and we're waiting for antibody testing to come out and be reliable and to be plentiful to be able to further answer the question of the relationship with COVID-19. So as a parent, what would be my concern here? Is this serious stuff or not necessarily so? Just part of a bigger piece of what's going on here? Well, again, most of these individuals are either without any signs mm -hmm. of a virus infection or, or signs that really haven't been the serious signs of COVID-19. So I think largely it's just either noticing it, take some pictures, that would be a great way to document and mention it at some point, but not urgently, to the pediatrician when that antibody testing is available. So I'm, I'm curious, why does it manifest itself in the extremities, in the hands and the toes? Any idea about that? Well, we don't really know exactly what's happening here, but it's very much like a condition we call pernio, which we usually see in cold weather, peak times, uh, January, for example, when after exposure to the cold, we see this discoloration, sometimes these little painful bumps. And we know that this relates to the blood vessels. And of course, those are the smallest blood vessels. We think there may be something going on where there might be some tiny clotting type process going on. Nothing we're worried about. None of these uh, teens or young adults have gone on to have any serious issues. They seem to resolve after a few weeks, but we'll have to find out more as this progresses. Uh, about 15, 20 seconds later uh, left, your, uh, your final thought, when in doubt, consult your pediatrician. When in doubt, consult the pediatrician, but we don't want to see a mass of people demanding testing for COVID-19 right now when resources are sparse. So let's just everybody take a deep breath with this, look at it, uh, take a picture, and we'll see down the road. Sounds good. Dr. Amy Powell, we thank you so much for your time from the Northwestern Feinberg School of Medicine. You take care. Bye-bye.